How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm here to register a complete hello kiss. <laughs> and the rest of the sketch. Uh, we're going to get things going here, but I want to bring out the, uh, the rest of management individually for a specific reason that will become obvious once I do it. So, uh, Drew Westfall, are you back there? That's Drew Westfall. Hello, see my piece. Uh, and then uh, your fearless leader, Jonathan Colton. Do we have him backstage? Because he's... Where the hell did Jonathan go? He's back there in the community. Okay, well, Drew and I are taking this shit over now. It's our ship. Our cruise. Someone fetch us Jonathan, because then we have to bring Storm out. He's the reason I was doing this whole build-up, and I don't see him back. Jonathan Colton, oh, come on out, Jonathan. But not Storm yet, because we need to do the Storm reveal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your fully invest the only fully invested member of management, Storm D. Costanza. That is as he appears in Marvel canon. Uh. <laughs> and if someone can help me after the show, I can't figure out what to do with the straps. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Dr. Strange said. <laughs> it looks like there's like black paper bags on your feet. What the hell is that? I figured out. Those are foot bags. Yeah. Okay. You, you take the first couple of questions. I'm going to try to straighten this out. Okay. Uh, very briefly. We're going to talk through uh, a little bit of booking for next year because you're all going to do that, right? If you have not done it already. I wrote these bullet points about a week and a half ago. I can't remember what the hell I said, so let's all learn together. And a note about this is that we will be working on how to do booking in paper forms on board. We have decided to roll this out sort of last minute because of the internet issues. So yeah. we'll get the details for that later. So Joe Cruise 2018. Uh, it happens February 18th to 25th, that is, in other words, over the President's Day week, so you'll all already have one or two days off, depending on where you work. Hopefully that helps, especially for those of you or those of everyone else who um, are teachers or attending school. That was a conscious decision. You're welcome. It is sailing on the, uh, the Oosterdam, which is the sister ship of the, the Westerdam. It is, um, similar in almost every respect, although it's already gone through the refit that many of the ships have already gone through. Uh, I think they, did they take the disco out, or did they just fix it? I believe that they removed the Northern Lights, which I think is a loss for all humanity. That place is amazing. Except for the chairs. Um, yeah. <laughs> and they added some cabins on deck 10. And those cabin numbers have five digits. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. They're, they're also in another dimension. Yes. <laughs> but we are going to uh, reestablish the Northern Lights Disco somewhere on the ship. Perhaps in Drew's cabin. <laughs> the Northern Lights Disco will live like Woodstock Nation wherever Drew is. Uh, it is going once again from San Diego through the uh, Mexican Riviera. We do not have specific destinations yet because we wanted to see how this year went. Uh, and we're going to be issuing a survey to all of you, and we'll get your feedback, and we'll have our opinions. Uh, we do not want it to be the exact same itinerary. It will not be all the same exact ports. Uh, but that's as specific as we can get right now. Hopefully that's okay with you. And Storm is still trying to figure out the straps. Whatever it is, not Cabo. He is, he is drawing runes on the floor. We can all agree we all hate Cabo. You got an anti Cabo vibe already, yeah? Generally speaking, just by, by show of whatever, what do you think of having the, the Shoreside concert? And uh, again, an informal survey. Were you generally, did you generally enjoy the town of Loreto? Yes. And just so we have a more scientific, unscientific sampling, what did you all think of Cabo San Lucas? Do you not like Tanzanite and fish tacos? <laughs> uh, we are once again going to have the entire show. 
That was uh, a calculated risk we had to take. We, I mean, we had to sign a contract before we did this year what, without knowing whether or not this was going to be a total goddamn disaster. There is still time for it to become one, yes. Yeah, I guess technically that's true. It still could go south in a number of ways. Uh, that noise is worth nothing to worry about. That's yes. literally, literally the, that, the anchor coming back into the ship. That is the Kraken pushing us slowly back out to sea. That is his, that's actually him purring. <laughs> it is old Cthulhu purring at us. The Kraken's purrs at Nora Jemison's next book. Yes. <laughs> You can book uh, at jokocruise.com. As Drew has said, because of the internet situation, uh, we are working on a, a analog paper form method of signing up, which is similar to a thing we did last year. There'll be more information about that soon. Uh, the internet situation is improving. While we have at least some of you here, one of the things that has continued to hammer the internet is people who have their automatic online backup systems running, like CrashPlan and iCloud. If you are one of those people and you have internet, please look and turn those backup systems off because they are dates of vampires. Yeah, they used something like four gigabytes last yes, night with any app store backups, push notifications, and the ship is trying to block all VPNs too. And uh, so, you know, just be aware that you may not be able to connect with one of those if it's not recommended. Is it a booking related question or an internet related question? Oh, sorry, we can't hear you. Does that apply? Does that apply to someone who doesn't have, does which apply to someone who no, doesn't have? No, no, those requests, oh. yeah, the, no, no, it'll, it'll just, I mean, it'll lock that and it won't work if you're just connected to the network only. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that, that's yeah. not the source of the traffic. I think the internal Wi-Fi is fine, it's just that, that the system is getting hammered and it's just getting zeroed out because of this stuff. Yeah, the ship is using two to three times its normal if, out allotment. If you, pic if you picture an hourglass, it's like that, except it's with all of your cat memes instead of saying that. <laughs> yeah, picture an hourglass, but it's fallen off of the table. Uh, we're uh, discussing uh, some of the discounts for this upcoming year, available to all of you. There is the early booking discount, which has increased for, to $100 per birth for 2018. There is all that is for everybody who books before I believe May 14 before the end of the cruise. Is that just no 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 no? no. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Sorry, you must book uh, actually before this session ends. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then uh, returning monkey discount has increased slightly to 75 per birth. That's for uh, anybody who has been on any previous Joko cruise, uh, and that and both of these discounts apply to everyone in a person's booking, even if you're the only returning monkey and you have one or two or three other passengers who are new, that these discounts apply to all of the berths in that cabin. Uh, there is also a pay in full discount, the one that hammered us this past year. Uh, there is a... Uh, jerks. Yeah. There's a 6% discount if you pay your balance in full at the time of booking. Uh, and that is capped at the first 350 bookings, which we have not reached yet. And because we haven't had internet, honestly, we don't know if we've blown through it yet. So now is your chance to avail yourself of that before we notice. <laughs> Do I have another bullet point? Nope. That's everything I have regarding 2018. So we are going to open up the floor to questions either about 2018 or this year or what have you. So Drew, pick a, pick a person. <laughs> 